Hello everyone, how are you? Today I'm making a video to talk about how did I prepare for the IMAT. Back in Brazil, I studied for two years on a prep course. On my first year, I didn't know about the IMAT, so I didn't focus on the IMAT. But on the second year, I knew about the IMAT, so that's the year that I focused on the IMAT. Maths and physics, what they ask you on the IMAT, is pretty basic. So, since I had already studied for one year for Brazilian admission tests, and they require um, much more knowledge in maths and physics, so for me, the maths and physics was really easy. I basically just studied from my prep course. I did the exercise they gave me and all of that. Now for biology and chemistry, I did use what I studied on the prep course, but I also needed a little bit more. We had classes at mornings and then at afternoons. There were some teachers that they would stay helping us with um, any doubts we had. So for biology and chemistry, I needed to go there because they have some really specific things. And yeah, that's how I studied for them. Like there, I already had a lot of knowledge, but there were some parts that I still didn't know about. Then for general knowledge, um, I didn't like study for it. I basically paid attention on my world history classes, philosophy, sociology, um, art history, and that's like... I tried to pay a lot of attention to those classes because that's like what they ask. But it's a topic that is really hard to know because it's so wide. There are so many stuff that they can ask you about. So I don't know. I feel like you need to know a lot about a lot of things. Um, those things that I told you were the ones that I focused more on but for example on my exam there were two questions one of them was about like um, theories about capitalism and the other one was about history of science so the part of history of science I didn't remember because it was like I don't know I just didn't remember um, but the other one I knew. So yeah, it was good to pay attention to those classes. And then for logics, I basically redid exercises. So that's something really important, not just for logics, but for the whole test, is to print the past exams and redo them. So that's what I did. I would redo them. If I had any questions, I would go and ask the teachers to help me. And I think this is one of the most important parts. It's also really important to give it a, to do it on the right time. So you have a hundred minutes to do it. So try to do it in a hundred minutes. Actually, when I was practicing, I would do in like 50 minutes, just in case. Uh, so yeah, I, this is really important to... It's a really important part of studying for the IMAT. It's redoing the, the past exams. Like if you can't, um, I don't know, for some reason, you can't go to a prep course, you can't, I don't know, buy books, you can't do anything, at least redo the exams that it will give you, like you get used to the exam and it will help you a lot. There is also this book that people use to study for logics that it's called B BMAT 600. I've never used it, but people say it's really good. I'm gonna leave here on the description box a link with a list of subjects that may be on the test. It's on the official website, but I'm gonna leave it here in case you have any doubts on what to study for. And that's it. I know not everywhere in the world there are that many prep courses as in Brazil, but I just wanted to tell you how did I prepare for the IMAT. So I hope you liked the video, I hope it was useful. And if you have any questions, any comments, you can do it here. And that's it. Bye!